Hi, it's Sunday night. Now this is what I'll do every night on YouTube. Is we look at the Met Office here, and uh, well tonight I've got a special guest with me. Um, so you can see tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Oh. Right there we are. Right there. So it's Monday morning. We're waiting for the rain. We're just gonna stack out, do one course of block everywhere on the inside, so nothing uh, runs down the face of brick. And Ed wants to learn how to use this. So this is his first time in the forklift. I've given him a pallet down the bottom here just to uh, basically. I told him drive from the top. Pick the pallet up, take it up the top, come back down, go round in a circle, go pick it up again and bring it back down. So that's his little training for today and so we'll see how he goes. Oh, 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 a bit too early. Uh, I'll leave him to it. Uh, so the lads came in on Saturday to point up. Uh, I didn't even ask how, how they got on or anything, but or point up or rake out even. So yeah, I mean the facing bricks look pretty good. You can see where the top course is what we did on the last visit, the, the first visit we did on them. But I mean, I, I think it looks pretty good to be honest with you. Um, raked out, I mean, they're all even. Uh, looking pretty good to be honest. So I went round building the corners and the lads came round behind me just filling them in. So yeah, it looks good. Uh, you can just see that it's just like the damp on it here, but oh, quite happy with that. So the lads are just, well there's two courses of commons to go on the inside. That's yet to do, but uh, they're not going to lay anything today. Just prepping for tomorrow, so. Yeah, and then I've told the lads here just um, do the 450 damp down because when the under four heating goes on, you've got the wrist screen that comes up, tapes onto this, so then that's your barrier, your uh, damp membrane, and then uh, you've got obviously insulation and then under four heating. So I think he wants 170 wanted. Um, it's 100 mil insulation, 70 mil screed with the uh, with the other floor heating. So we're going to run one course of block on the inside everywhere to get the bond. And if it rains, it doesn't ruin everything. It's just one course of block. And then from tomorrow, we can actually go higher because we're not building off the damp. Okay, matey. A little spend out the weekend, Vaughan. Look, nice oh, new brush. What have nice we got here? Bolster, Marshall Town brush. Oh, oh, that's a new. Oh, yeah. Horse hair. Horse hair, yeah. 20 bar. Yeah. 20 bar, yeah. yeah. And then the footprint bolster. What are you talking there? I like that with the. Yeah, yeah. It, it does help. No, I'm not sure how much that was actually. It's important. Is that eBay? Yeah. Amazon. Yeah, eBay, yeah. Amazon, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. Tool talk over. <laughs> hey, so it's break time, and look what I got. Look at this bad boy here, cordless coffee maker. I'll see how it goes, but the only thing is, I haven't got a battery. All the batteries are dead. The reason why I got it is because on this side here, they've got no power. Oh, I got a fork. Okay. Uh, no power, so I need something for my coffee. So I can't even charge the batteries to, to do the coffee, so yeah. And I'm starting to get a grip now. Um, I'm going for the like the salad -y type things. Just uh, got an online coach. Booked him yesterday, 12 week plan. Sent photos. And uh, oh, hopefully I guess get results. I'm back in the gym. Go I went on Saturday. Right, so it's starting to get wet now. Uh, just show you what we've done before it just really lashes it down I think so we've done the trays 
the 450 tree ready for the dam all the way around the house. It's been one course of block all the way around the house and I've built a little corner with what mortar we had left. Um, just because it was a bit of a technical corner I thought I'd just get that one out of the way. Um, it also shows on the drawing that um, the insulation goes below uh, 225. So what we're doing now is just cutting it. So we've put the ties in the bottom course and cut the insulation, shoved it down and not notching around these uh, vents. Oh shit, I need a tray there tonight. Right? Okay, basically there's no read on on here, but we still need to put a damper tray just where these uh, vents are. Um, yeah, it's coming down now. So we're going to stack these blocks. We've got another 16 packs coming tomorrow. So we've had 16 packs this morning. We started shifting loads of them over there. Jack and I have gone. Um, Mix is getting cleaned. So that's it. That'll be it for Monday. In what, half a day? Stacking out one course. But tomorrow we'll be flying. It's meant to be a nice day. So the difference is when you're building off off this now with the plastic if you go high it tends to kind of move but this will be solid by tomorrow and we've plumbed pretty much every block with a two foot level so yeah we should be flying tomorrow really uh, yeah hey guess what i just had a deja vu there i've been having a few of them recently i've been here in this exact yeah. moment before this is weird isn't it right so we're off now aren't we craig yeah we're off mate craig so, is the savior in the morning he's here yeah. well early and then the wagon was here delivering blocks and i was still still not far from my house so I'm showing him where to put everything now to show you what we've done uh, so we've just gone round it's all ready to roll now we're out the uh out of the crap they'd say so all nice and neat right bye bye again do you hear that there's christmas music already oh. it's not christmas until there's christmas music which gets earlier every bloody year Anyway, uh, we're going to build a corner each year. Craig's on that side, I'm on this side. Then Craig's going to probably run in whilst I probably build corners everywhere else. That's the plan anyway. These lads are putting the black dye in that mixer there to finish off over there. Righty. Today's going to be the best day of the week. And I'm going to capitalise on that by not having a break. Well, I am going to have a break, but not a break. I'm just going to eat on the go. So, um, and I'm switching it up this week to see what's what. I find I I feel like when I overeat, I slow down. I can't go as quick. So, the more hungry I am, the quicker I bloody work. To be honest, I don't know how that works. But anyway, uh, today I've got this for first break. I got my double enchiladas for <laughs> Professor here, Professor Brickwork. Um, I know in the last video I was uh, saying about not wearing safety glasses and all that, yeah. But on a serious note, it, it should, really. And um, I think it's just, I won't say laziness not wearing them, but we, I have always got safety glasses, but for that time I couldn't find any. So, um, just stocked up, I've got two extra pairs and, well, and a new toolbox. Oh, I forgot to say that. Um, but yeah, when you're using, you know, stuff that will make, basically make you blind, uh, it's not worth the risk, is it? So, uh, I can't shoot into the air, but I would right now if I could. So yeah, it's not worth, uh, not worth the risk, is it, Sean? You know, we all want to be able to see stuff. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yes. Oh my God, where have you been all my life? Oh my god, that is amazing. Did you see that then? I think I'm gonna have to buy one of these bad boys here. Yes! 
This is what we got for lunch. Look at that. Enchiladas, a little bit crispy and burnt, but the guy over the road there heated it up for us. Beautiful. Right. Let's go and see what these hillbillies are doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll have one of them off here. Jesus. What's going on here? Bit of rabbit stew. No way. Yep. Is that the rabbit stew? Wild rabbit. It smells alright, actually. Lovely. What's that? What's that a skull in there? Uh, there's a bit of bone in there, yeah. It's, I've done a proper stew to oh, wow. leave the, the meat on the bone there. Yeah, you'd be bouncing about sight after. Yeah. <laughs> fast, fast and strong. <laughs> oh, nice for sun's out, isn't it? Yeah. Last course of the day. I said I'd do a load of filming today because we're going flat out, but we haven't done that much. Anyway, uh, tell you what happened here earlier. After we did the uh, rabbit stew video, yeah, down over there, there was this uh, sweet old lady that parked up to post the letters. The only thing was, she wasn't very really sweet. Uh, I said to her, Oh, hi, yeah, how's it going? Uh, you okay? Like that. And she went, No, not really. Um, you know, you, obviously, we're all Welsh here. Bar Craig, eh? Bar Craig. Um, but she wasn't Welsh, far from it. So she had a stinking attitude on her and she said, Hi, are you okay? No, I'm not actually. All this banging and mud on the road and all this. and Oh, oh yeah, oh God, uh, sorry, I asked. Anyway, uh, about an hour ago, the council turned up here. Um, but I knew the bloke from college and uh, he told me that this woman had phoned in to complain about the road. Uh, but it's nothing to do with us because the water guys, uh, it's over there and the road's not even that muddy. So he knew that she was just having a go, but um, that's pretty much it really. So anyway, last course of the day. We had fun today, we Craig. Loved it, mate. Yeah, it. you sleep well tonight, yeah. I'll sleep very well tonight. <laughs> um, so I'll just show you the crack up then here. So started off over there, um, and I went on this side, built this corner. Craig built this beast here, then ran in, and I've built this corner, ran in there. Craig's built that corner in there. We're just finishing it off now. So. Uh, yeah, and also, yeah, the build, uh, the council guy went like this in Welsh. I'll, I'll say it in English, okay? He goes like this. Because we're working in a place called Sam Honor. He goes, um, like anyone can hear him, he goes, People on Sam Honor. Uh, <laughs> people in Sam Honor are always watching. Like, <laughs> it's like, what? 
What are you on about? Uh. Yes, rain. I love rain. Take shelter, Joe. Oh my God, the camera. Look what we got over here. Ah. Uh. It's a, it's a one bedroom uh... Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, help, I'm stuck! That's right, lad. Hey. Room with a view, river. Look at this one! Come on, Sean! Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I tell you what, Sean. I need it on this side here, mate. So you want to reverse back, yeah? Reverse. No, 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 no. Just go straight back foot first. Oh, look what he's done here. Look what he's hit here. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tip it now, Sean. Tip it. Tip it. Lift it up now. Go on. Just lift it up. There you are. Go on, bring it up. There you are. Not bad, not bad effort for your first time. How does it feel? Hard. It hard, yeah? You get used to it, you know. on your toast I think my, dirt, my level is a dirty bitch, yeah I know. Uh, I think I'm going to get a new one because I've chipped the little things, the glass on it. Right, show us what So long, shelter. So, another end of the day video. Uh, tired now I think, so... Won't be talking much rubbish. So yeah, we did the insides yesterday, uh, finished that off there, so we had a good day on the outside really. <sighs> Just going to clean all this rubbish here now, so, uh, well we started off, um, started off, so I built that corner first, there, then, uh, Ah, uh, Craig, built that corner there, tidy to be honest with you, that one there, I'm going to probably clean these facings again, yeah, so then, Joe, I have to say, uh, fair play to him, he built this corner up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I have put level on it and it's bang on. You know, credit where do you I was in college yesterday? Third year apprentice, and then he's ran this in. I built this corner, and then I've just built this one now, just before going home. So, yeah, we're steaming through here, 
Craig's just done that one. Box this one off tomorrow, box that one off. And then we'll get on the trestles. And then Jack and Ed, they finished off uh, the commons on the far end. They've done all the damp and one course everywhere. Uh, their Libra didn't turn in today. Well, the apprentice Libra. Ah, also, yeah, the council has turned up today because of that um, not so sweet little old lady. Uh, she'd phoned, yeah, I told you that she'd phoned. So the council has turned up and, uh, well, they were nice, to be honest with you, they had the crack with them. And, yeah, basically, off the subject of this site, we were talking about, you know, how the current trend in new houses is timber frame with cement board and I know that I've had inquiries to do some sites and then half an hour later another phone call off the QS is saying sorry there's no bricks on these sites so there's what 90 odd houses on these sites there was no bricks um, how do you how do you build 90 odd houses with just timber frame with cement board I mean how are they gonna last Plus the knock-on effect to these young lads, which are looking to, you know, get in the construction industry, blah blah blah, be bricklayers, and you know, no work for them, you know. So, um, so all these villages want 20, 30 houses each village, constantly. You know, we're not getting a chance, are we? So anyway, waffle over. Right, show you the setup. So we've got a string line, I built a corner last night, didn't I? Uh, we've got a string line down here. Now, how I've done this. Is a clamped this here. I've got a new line today. That there. I've got my dory, so I'll just slide that up and down. I can use this. I know it's roughly about there. Okay, so we've got that line. Sean, where the click click for me? Right, it's windy today, so uh, Joe might be going on the back here, but someone is anyway. Craig can go on it, maybe. I don't know. Um, we don't like the wind because uh, with the rain, you know where you stand, don't you? Yeah, you, you see it coming and you get wet, you feel it, you're like, right, it's gonna rain, so you're able to cover up or you get a bit of warning with the wind and the wind's also invisible if you if you don't know did you know the wind's invisible? no I didn't know that no I didn't know that no. you can't see it you see so you can't see it coming no, 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 no. yeah so we got uh, another set up here so yeah yeah just going on to wind you can... I don't even have to bloody say do I uh, you can come in the day after, yeah, and you, your walls are blown over. The rain doesn't do that. So, I think we're just going to do that. I think the rain's coming at 11. And then I've had a phone call, well, last week, clearly, but um, that job in Trial Bay, the one I've been to a million and one, and two and three, four ten times, um, it wants me to do small work there. It's been a change in design or something. So the rain's coming at 11, it's going to pass over by the time we get to that side of the island and uh, hopefully, the only thing is, at home, uh, my, it's two months now, yeah? So he, he's meant to have his injections today, at one, she wants me to go with him. It's, yeah, it's a fair comment. 
and my four-year-old has got tonsillitis so I had to sleep in his bed for the past two nights and uh, I woke up this morning at 7.34 I looked at my phone, bloody hell, jump out yeah the lads are outside my house waiting for me to go to work so um, you know digging deep here these uh, nights where I'm not sleeping properly and all that it's uh, I don't know coffee is my best friend saying that though I had a twitch my eye all weekend yeah just like that yeah but that was annoying, you know. So all day Saturday, all day Sunday, Sunday night, I said, "Listen, she's a nurse. So this isn't right. Yeah, I've got a twitch in my eye here yeah, all bloody weekend, <laughs> and she's seen that uh, the symptoms or whatever is because you're not sleeping properly and drinking too much coffee. Oh well, yeah, they go hand in hand, don't they? I mean, you don't sleep properly, you would be like this. Yeah, you have a coffee to wake you. So yeah, give, give me some twitch, please." Right. Talk shit tonight. So uh it's time to turn a bit rubbish now, we knew it would be so um we've got a mix here so probably take it with us that other job. Um as uh a guy called Alan Richards, he's a plastering contractor from Rill or somewhere. And I remember being on a job with him and I heard him shout to his lads before when they didn't have any materials. They, pla they were waiting for plasterboard to be delivered. <sighs> this is my best impression of Alan Richards. Can't you do something? That's how he used to <laughs> tell the lads when they said they couldn't do anything. So, so we built, you know, we built this. Joe's built this. And I'm there. What time is it, Joe? Could be what, 11? I said the rain was coming at 11, didn't I? Let's check my phone here. 10.50. Must should call me the weather man. Right, see you on the next job. Heavy. Heavy that lad. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I like geezers. You right? Yeah. Right, a bit of a family emergency, so we didn't go to that other job. It wasn't much of an emergency, basically, uh, the baby had to go and get injections, and there was no one to look after the other one with tonsillitis. So I just said, I'll oh, come home, even though we had full mix. We said, Oh, I got some more slabbing to do in the back. So, right, you having fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, right. Then. So, uh, yeah, that's where I live. That was it. Um, doing cuts. Um, I don't know if this guy's got it open. Right. Um, I built. Well, I didn't build it. I demolished. This used to be a double garage. A uh, guy next door and. Um, Basically, I toothed that brickwork out, and you'd think it was done years ago, how it's weathered, but um, no, we've got a brick match, and I toothed that in, there and here, and put some acid on it, and put this echo drain in front, and on the side there, I don't know if I should be doing this really, so you can see, oh, no you can't see. I might do a little video on that one after, but he's done. Oh, you want to see inside? Oh, it's amazing. He's got a pool table, 75 inch screen, really nice in there. So, Joe's gone to get some cement because uh, the cement I had in my garage gone out of on my shed, gone out of, out of date. I don't know if you can see here, um, used by. So it's out of date. So you only, you only get three months to use the cement really, so it's no good if it's been uh, standing there. It's all solid. Right, right. while Sean's doing us a cut here for this one, right? Um I'll just talk to you what I've been doing here. So 
There's a tree over there. Now all this used to be rock. I had a pecker man and machine in here pecking all the garden up. And it actually, the rock came to about one metre from here. So it actually came, there's a, like a sleeper wall that went like that. And uh, the rocks are going, oh, you can see, you can see the bank up there. But basically, uh, I'm going to, I might do a video for um, this area anyway, but I've got damp coming through here, so watch this space, I'm in touch with uh, another YouTuber, seeing if we could do maybe a collab, but I know it's cringe, like, but he, he's really good. If you can, check him out, he's called Damp Sam. Damp Sam, I think his name is on it, yeah. He's pretty good with uh, stuff, so um, yeah, gonna make a sauna in here hopefully and a gym thing here. So I've got like a power rack here ready. Anyway, um, oh yeah, for the sauna, this is why I really need to put my finger out here. I want to put a window in there. Cause this is like stud in here, so it's just basically four by two stud. Um, got mains power coming in here as well, ready. 4x2 stud, Tyvek. And I've got this clad stuff on it, yeah? It's like plastic padding. I haven't tacked here yet because uh, I'm going to put a join piece in there. Yeah, it looks okay. Plastic, I think it's called soft fit board, I think. And it, the colour is like a, a light grey. Anthracite grey on the features, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the window I'm putting in here needs to put a window in for the sauna, so obviously it lets the steam out. And but before I, I need to clad it obviously, but I want to um, put this before the cladding so the cladding comes down. Yeah, and then I've got these lights and these walls that I built. I've built this wall, I've got these lights in it. This is the cable to the lights. So, uh, when it's all done, it'll be nice, you know, so... It's like, um... It's men have patience, yeah. I can pull my finger out of this. Huh? Effort, yeah. Perfect, nah. This weather. No good, this, you know. Oh. oh, I know it rained. I did kind of half think whether to cop it, but bit of pointing on that. I yeah, bit of pointing. Like Are you kidding me right now? It's like the start of the day, Sean. Go and get the spanners out of the van, please. Oh, yeah. Bit of a panic this morning. Uh, turned up, I had any pallets ready, so we've uh, yeah, made do. I'll just help you if I just make sure your area is clear. I, uh, so that lintel was short, this one's on, uh, short of these two here, uh, up to joist there, up to scaffold height there. Uh, we're short of this one here. 
we've got this one so we've only got this one to go at and uh, this one's in and then we've got the internal ones yeah we've got the steel we've got these two here so should be done Tuesday night easy it's that time of week where we're done and dusted we nearly are anyway so uh, just show you Oh, we've got built there. Just finish that one off there. I really can't be asked just going on showing you. So what I do want to show is, you know, in this forklift, it's a magic one. So this one here, right? This button's for parachute. See there? Now don't press that. If you if you end up coming off a bridge like Britannia Bridge, press it, you'll be safe. It'll, parachute you off but when you get in the water you can use your jet jet power in the water and this one's just to go on the road jet power okay so you don't really want to be using them not with the price of uh, fuel these days right have a good one uh, yeah really glad to get to see the back end of this week because of uh, the sleep situation and kids well tonsillitis at home and stuff like that so yeah adios